Okay friends, in part one we discuss about the meaning of the nation, the influence of the nation, beginning of the nation from Italy 14th century and become entered into from the whole journey of different European nation and finally came in 16th century during the time period of King Elizabeth and first season of King Elizabeth 1550 to 1600 he entered into the England and it become the mature and we can discuss about that, the influence of the NSF in particular enter the England, enter the England, it was appealed to the, all the, we can say, spare, field or aspect, works of life, England and Tarek Shetramo, not an economically, due to the, there was some invention, and in the world, the invention of the, we can say that those are new lands, and people become the economically sound. And there were due to the King Elizabeth reason, a firm stability of the King Elizabeth reason. King Elizabeth reason, God of Polar political, there was stable. Rajke Sukhshanti Taylor. Religious, there was a reformation. There was a abuse of the church. Church Nazirata, it was stable. There was conflict between Puritan and Catholic was the stable. The Catholic was removed. Puritan and Catholic, and Puritan was the Sangarsha to JBM. Khan, but the socially there was a rise of the, we can say the middle class, middle class the and in this each and every field, in each and every field, in the end, the generation become the mature. Now in the second part, we can discuss about the influence of generation in English literature. Influence of generation in English literature. What about that? In English literature, particularly we divided that topic, because there are three forms of literature. Prose, poetry, and drama. So first of all, we learned how the English Renaissance influence on the that was the concept of ideas or ideologies of Renaissance. There were very few Roman century. The individuality appealed to these three forms of literature: prose, poetry, and drama. First, we discuss about the drama was the in the peak point during the Elizabethan period. Yes, it is the peak and. Christopher Marlowe and there was a Shakespeare or the we can say William Shakespeare who was the other writer in the city where William Shakespeare and that's why drama is the big point during the King Elizabeth Elizabethan age. That was first we discuss about the drama. How it appeared because the themes of the drama, the theme of the drama that highly influenced that was the ideas and we can say that ideology of Renaissance. Those are first of them. We can say that drama which to the crown, crowning glory in the hands of university wits. I discussed Marlowe, Shakespeare, and Ben Jonson. And during the Jacobin dramatist, there was a drama becoming the peak of the land. I give the example of some of the famous drama and the center theme of the drama also appealed to the ideology of Renaissance. For example. Dr. Foster's, dear friend, all day we studied the hunger or the thirst for the knowledge of all the world. Character of Dr. Foster's, so what is Individuality. Vishwa Bandhu Gnan Meda Matani, Bhuk Atva Taras. Then we can say that Tambalin, the character, the king, was also the ruler of the world. And Jew of Malta and Edward to return by. Yes, my dear friend, the shining star of university with Christopher Marlowe. And Christopher Marlowe, this far work appeal or express the ideology of the Renaissance. Further, we can say that William, how we forget William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare also, we can say that, contribute to the field of historical tragedy, historical drama. Romantic comedy and all time hit great tragedy. And the great tragedy as I mentioned, Hokum, Hamlet, also King Lear, and yes, Macbeth. These are the great tragedy. And here is that great tragedy. And we can also find out its wonderful comedy. A Midsummer Night Day, the Tempest, A Midsummer Night Day, A Tempest. Merchant of Venice, these are the great tragedy and in this great romantic comedy, a dark comedy. 
the tenth page, or we can say that uh, bro, uh, but, uh, we, we can say that tragic comedy. Tenth page, every this how the studies the spirit of tradition in literature. They are studied, suggested the spirit of tradition in the literature, and further we can say that how Ben Johnson, a Jacobinian, a founder of comedy of humor. And his well-known comedy of every man is humor, who all born are the best example of this kind of vibe. Right? Because the economical sir, all born was first. They find a new invention of the invention of the method of alchemy, science of alchemy. Alchemy means friends, how the, to convert the uh, iron or other metal into the gold. Like a jewelry, pitter, tamu. बच्चे कहीं चेक किया कि लोग कहन आप ये दातों ने सोना मां कलवर करवाने भी तेरे ऐसे के लिए ये देखें शो दैट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ न्यू डिस्कवरी वर इन द बेन जॉनसन प्ले वॉल्पोल द फॉक्स एंड यू आल्सो स्टडी एवरी मैन इज ह्यूमर एंड फर्दर वी कैन फाइंड आउट दैट देयर वाज द टेक द ब्लड एंड one more right poet was Jacobian contemporary poet, right dramatist was John Webster. And John Webster, these are, we can also suggest that the Revenge, Burn Thunder, and these are the kind of themes in his drama. In particular, we can see the influence of Renaissance in the English drama, very fine. Idea of Renaissance, Revenge, Discovery, Traveling, find out the rebirth. Centralization of individuality. These are the concepts we can easily find out in these three particular university bits. You know about that the seven university bits: John Dewey, P. G. Thomas Kidd, Thomas Knox, and particularly you can say that here Christopher Marlowe. Particularly Christopher Marlowe, the little forward we discuss about it in the forward. You, Dr. Foster, Templeton, Edward, Edward II, and Jew of Malta. Here we can second the William Shakespeare great tragedy. Here I mentioned the Hawthorne, Hamlet, Othello, King Lear, Macbeth, and particularly we can say that it romantic comedy, historical Henry V, Henry III, and here is to his romantic comedy Midsummer, um, Midsummer Night Dream, the dark comedy or tragic comedy or tragedy is suggested that spirit of individuality or spirit of Renaissance and in during Jacobian period. Uh, ben Johnson, Everyman Human, Walt Pond, and John Webster. These are the work of this dramatist. The we can say that provided the spirit of spread the spirit of Renaissance. Okay, then the second we we'll discuss about the quality during that Renaissance period of time. England is called the nest of singing birds. Do you remember that word we are using? The nest is of poetry. So, in England, what do you want to do? In England, the Gata Paksi no Maal. That's why poetry was also spread in England. And it is also called the romantic case. And that's why romantic revival. Yes, remember the age of William Wordsworth is called the romantic revival. And this is also known as the Roman decay. The England is part of the nest in the Gata Paksi of Maro, singing bird of Yomar. And there was, we can say, the influence of the Renaissance. These are the, remember that those are the beginning of the sonnet, Thomas Sweat and Earl of Surrey introduced the sonnet in 15th century from Italy to into the England. Then this as Sir Philip Sidney. William Shakespeare and Edmund Spencer they spread the sonnet and other literary lyrics and in the English literature and particularly we can find out that Thomas Wade and Alan Surrey they brought the sonnet from England in, from Italy into from seventh century Petrarch wrote the sonnet and those seventh centuries form of sonnet introduced by Thomas Wade and Earl of Surrey in into England in 15th century and William Shakespeare was wrote 154 sonnet addressing to the dark lady and his friend Mr. W. H. 
and these are the 150 sonnets you remember true love and many other these are the his famous sonnets during that sir philip sidney also wrote the sonnet and his famous work was astrophor and astila astrophor and astila sir philip sidney who studied that for me and brother andy spencer how you could forget the great epic writer the fairy queen the first epic in english literature second he can also write down the collection of poem sonnet the embroidery addressing to his beloved elizabethan boyle any any premika elizabethan boyle ne sambodhi ne he you can write us 79 or 78 sonnet a love sonnet to his beloved and how he during the puritan age after jacobin age just after that that was called the puritan age or age of milton john age of john milton and